welcome students, staff and family and friends who are watching over our 2020 presentation ceremony from home today. The year 2020 was certainly been an inter interesting one. However, today we are here to celebrate the resilience, determination and success of the students of Gorakan High School. I would like to invite Yasmin Barza and our Didge and Dance group to open the presentation for 2020. This would be followed by the national anthem. Good morning, my name is Yasmin and I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land we stand on today. This land is and always will be Aboriginal land. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to the leaders who have yet to come, who will carry out the hopes. Good morning, my name is Yasmin and I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land we stand on today. This land is and always will be Aboriginal land. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to the leaders who have yet to come, who will carry on the hopes and dreams of our nation into the future. We recognise the strength, resilience and spirit of our nation's first people.
Thank you, Yasmin, our wonderful Didge and Dance Group, and Lillian Princess with the National Anthem. My name is Harry, and I'm a proud to be elected as a school captain. I'm joined today by Tanique, also elected as school captain. It is our pleasure today to present the awards for stage four. The format of the presentation is certainly different to years gone. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff who have contributed to the organization and technological support so that we could have this opportunity to congratulate our very deserving students. The year 2020 has been a challenging one, ending 2019 with fires and moving into 2020 with storms and floods. Who would have thought that by the end of the term, we would find ourselves thrown into the midst of a global pandemic? grappling with the rapid change to online learning and coming to terms with the restrictions placed on our lives. The way we knew our lives changed so quickly, going to the shops, eating out, closed beaches, and hand sanitizing 50 times a day became the new normal. Schooling changed dramatically. Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Zoom sessions, and the scramble to provide work booklets began, and in true Gorkin spirit, teachers and staff alike rose to the challenge. It was not always easy, but here we are today, overcoming the obstacle of COVID restrictions and celebrating the achievements of the students of Gorokan High School. So thank you to all staff, office staff and senior executive to getting us all to this point of the year. Congratulations to all students, whether you're receiving an award or not. We congratulate you for your resilience, we congratulate you for your adaptability and we congratulate you for showing up to 2020. I would now like to ask Mr. Boke to the lectern for the principal's address. Thanks, Tanique, and thanks, Harry. Obviously, through COVID, we're all getting used to new processes. Wiping a microphone down at the end of an address isn't something I thought I'd be doing at the end of 2020 from the start of the year. However, the world certainly has changed around us this year. I, too, would like to pay my respect to any Aboriginal people who are here with us today and to the future of Aboriginal leadership in schools those sitting in front of us, any elders that we have, both past, present, and you as emerging. One of the things that I'm most passionate about is the fact that we are lifelong learners, and I was really fortunate over the last couple of days to spend some time on country with Arnie Leslie and Uncle Dave Ella and learn more about the land that we are on here and how it was always used as a place of learning. And to hear some of those stories and to have some of that knowledge shared with me helped me realise that as we leave school, as we step into different phases of our life, it's not what we know at each point, it's the skills that we take with us to continue to be able to learn. It's important that we celebrate what 2020 has been this year because we've all worked incredibly hard and I'd like to thank the team that we've got working in the back behind stage today to make sure this can go out and have our community still be part of this celebration. For the people sitting in front of us here, our Year 7 and Year 8 students, in a moment I'm going to ask you to give a big round of applause to those people at home who can't be with us today because they are the ones who continue to support. They are the ones who continue to give you a sense of self-belief. They are the ones who continue to listen to what you've experienced at school and to let you unload when you've had a tough day or to let you share the excitement with them when something exciting has happened. It's a crucial role, and we thank our parents and carers for what they do. So can I please get you to give them a big round of applause indicative of what 2021, uh, 2020 has been for them. <laughs> to our parents and carers at home, thank you for what you did this year, the year that not only were you parents, carers, and supportive of our young people, but you also became teachers, educators, school counsellors, and performed the full range of roles that we as school staff do. So I thank you for your commitment to the students of Gorican High School. To the students sitting here today, you are sitting here because you, in, you showed an, an incredible level of perseverance. You continued to step up to school. 
You continued to front up to lessons and you continued to apply yourself day after day, period after period. Every single assessment that you completed, every learning experience that you bought into, every day that you came and applied yourself at school was an investment in your future self. You are now, at the end of this year, much further along your journey in education than you were at the start, and it was not an easy journey this year. That alone should give you an immense sense of pride sitting here today. But the other thing I want to mention isn't unique to Gorican High School, but Gorican High School has a unique approach or take on this, and that is community. We are a diverse community at Gorican High School, a whole range of student and family backgrounds that come to make us who we are. And 2020 made us look inwards at our community and what it meant to be part of an organisation like a school in a time when the world was changing around us. Everything about how we transitioned into remote learning strengthened the connection that we all have to Gorican High School. And I want to thank you and our community for rallying behind the cause at that point. You supported your peers. You encouraged each other. And as a group, you helped one another overcome the obstacles that this year threw at all of us. And that is no small achievement. As you grow in education, you will look back on what this year held. You will share stories. You will compare future years to what you experienced this year and you will know that you have the perseverance and the connection to those around you to overcome whatever comes next. Finally, own this moment. You've achieved this. This is your accomplishment. When you accept your award up on stage, be proud. Nobody's just willingly given this to you. You have absolutely earned it. And your efforts this year have provided an incredible springboard into the opportunities that 2021 will hold for you. So congratulations to every single recipient here today. Thank you. I invite Harry back up to the stage to be able to begin the presentations. Thank you, Mr. Boak. I would now like to ask our Year 7 award recipients to the side of the stage. If the audience in the hall could wait until requested to applaud our awards recipients. Lillian Powell, first in science, PDHPE, music, Japanese, history selective. We have the 2020 Year Advisor Awards, which are chosen by a Year Advisor and awarded to students demonstrating overall achievement in different areas, including academic, creative arts, sport, and community service. The recipients of the Year Advisor Award are Lillian Powell. Lillian has shown dedication to her studies, which was demonstrated through her first in subject awards presented. She is also to be commended for her dedication to dance and a drive for excellence in this area. Lillian is a worthy recipient of the Year Advisors Award. Riley Barnes, first in music B stream. Tani Bradford, first in history. Gabriella Jones, first in humanities. Kelly Jones, first in Mathematics A-Stream. Mm -hmm. 
Evie Kettle, first in music and English selective. Luke Carox, first in technology, mandatory. Joe McKell, first in Japanese. Matilda Mabry, first in mathematics, selective. Lily Grace Morrison, first in humanities. Tristan Milhorn, first in mathematics, B stream. Unfortunately, Tristan cannot make it today. Please congratulate our award recipients. Chelsea O'Halligan, first in science, A stream. Charlize Partingen, first in English, A stream. Isabel Pierce, first in music selective. Mervyn Preston, first in humanities. Kobe Swinnell, first in mathematics, selective. Lily Taplin, first in humanities and science B stream. Tanika Williams, first in technology, mandatory. Evelyn Williamson, first in Japanese. Unfortunately, Evelyn could not make it today. Evelyn is here, actually. <laughs> and Ru Roy Zhu, first in music, A stream.
please congratulate our award recipients. Congratulations, Year 7. I would now like to ask our first pe performance item, the Lawson Girls. Tanik will then announce the Year 8 awards recipients.
I would now like to ask our Year 8 award recipients to the side of the stage if the audience in the hall could wait until requested to applaud our award recipients today. Brock Drazevich, first in subject, Science Selective. Olivia Eindhoven, first in subject, History, Mathematics Selective. Jason Hesling, first in subject, Mathematics B Stream. Mason Jupp, first in subject, Mathematics A Stream. Xavier Kanur, first in subject, English A Stream, Visual Arts A Stream. Abby McTeer, first in the subject, History. Please congratulate our award recipients. <laughs> Seth O'Brien, first in subject, Technology Mandatory. Sienna Rule, first in subject, Visual Arts B Stream. Tara Smider, first in subject, Mathematics Selective. Laura Smider, first in subject, English Selective. Jacob Thorne, first in subject, Science B Stream. Madison Tideswell, first in subject, Visual Arts B Stream. Casey Cowan White, Food Technology. Gracie Watkins, first in subject, PDHPE. Lucas Nguyen, first in subject, science A stream.
Christopher Peterson, first in subject. It is with great pleasure that I announce these special awards for 2020. The Premier's Reading Challenge aims to encourage a love of reading for leisure and enable students to experience quality li literature. It is not a competition, but a challenge to each student to read more and more. The Premier's Reading Challenge is open to all New South Wales students from K to 9. Please join me in congratulating Jake Despolin in completing the 2020 Premier's Reading Challenge and being awarded with a certificate signed by the Honorary Glads Birkenshin MP Premier of New South Wales.
The PNC Awards are presented to students who have shown a positive attitude and application to their work throughout the school year. The Year 7 PNC Award goes to Cameron Chivaz. Cameron has maintained a positive attitude towards his learning and always gives his personal best. He shows respect and responsibility and he is a positive role model for his peers. Cameron consistently puts his best foot forward across all subjects and has achieved some great results both in and outside of the classroom. Congratulations, Cameron. Our second Year 7 PSC Award goes to Isabel Pierce. Isabel is a consistent worker who always works to the best of her ability. She takes pride in her classwork and is a valued member of her class and the Year 7 cohort. Isabel always strives to demonstrate the GHS core values of respect, cooperation and personal best and possesses great leadership skills. Congratulations, Isabel. Our Year 8 PNC Award goes to Seth O'Brien. Seth consistently demonstrates the Gorican High School core values of respect, cooperation and personal best. Seth is a quiet achiever who also puts his best foot forward. He works diligently in the classroom and is a valued member of the school community. Congratulations Seth on a sensational year. Our second Year 8 PNC Award goes to Leah Bella Flo Amerton. Leah Bella maintains a positively infectious attitude towards the year. Leah Bella displays outstanding leadership qualities and is a great role model for her peers and younger students. She consistently applies herself with diligence across all KLAs and has achieved fantastic results. Congratulations Leah Bella on a fantastic year. The Dobell Citizenship Award is dedicated to a student who participates actively around the school, displaying exceptional leadership qualities and engages will in the classroom. The Dobell Citizenship Award for 2020 is awarded to Caitlin Dana. Caitlin has displayed extremely leadership and teamwork skills in and outside of the classroom during 2020. Caitlin has received 147 positive entries throughout our time at Gorican High School, reflecting a positive attitude, dedication to teamwork in the classroom, and engaging with her schoolwork. Caitlin is a worthy recipient of the 2020 Dobell Citizenship Award. Please join me in congratulating Caitlin on her award. Out of Vinci Awards for 2020 are awarded to students who are enrolled in our selective cohort who demonstrate the diligence and commitment to their studies in the high potential and gifted education area. Award recipients are selected by the teachers of selective classes and nominated by Dr. Rudman. Please join me in congratulating our Stage 4 Da Vinci winners. Year 7, Hugo Okamoto. Year 8, Leah Bella Fawai Yamatagi. The Jenny Bradstock Scholarship was established to remember one of our staff, Jenny Bradstock. Jenny was a dedicated teacher and sportswoman who, in her words, achieved through perseverance. The recipient of this award demonstrates these qualities of achieving through perseverance, both academically and in their sport. 
please congratulate me in awarding the Jenny Bradstock Award for Kobe Swinnell. The 2020 Year Advisor Awards are chosen by the Year Advisor and are awarded to students demonstrating overall achievement in different areas, including academic, creative arts, sport and community service. The recipients of the Year Advisor Award are Year 8, Gracie Watkins. Gracie has demonstrated dedication to learning across the K KLAs, excelling at everything she puts her mind to. Gracie has been a keen participant in the discipline of creative and performing arts and displays confidence and a positive attitude throughout. Gracie is a worthy recipient of the Year Advisor Award. <laughs> that concludes the awards presentation for Stage 4, Year 7 and 8. Please join me in congratulating all the award recipients for 2020. Due to the COVID restrictions, we have been unable to have many of our special guests join us and congratulating our students. Please join me in watching some special guests congratulating our award recipient for 2020. Good morning to all the fabulous team of Bowken High School. It's wonderful to still be able to be, have some part in your celebrations this morning via this video and hope you thoroughly enjoy every minute of your presentation morning as you're heading into the holiday period. I'm joining you from Dark and Young Lane this morning and wish to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and pay my respects to any Aboriginal people who are present in this celebration this morning. I want you to send a heartfelt congratulations to every single person who has been part of the Bowken High School team through what has been a tumultuous and extraordinary year for everyone. I recognise and understand the difficulty this brought for the leadership team, the staff, and for all the students, and there is some comfort in the notion that we were not in this difficult time alone, and that it was shared with all our fellow educators, students, and parents across the world. To all the staff, thank you for the resilience, dedication, diligence, and collegiality that you brought to work or on Zoom every day, to lighten the load and brighten those around you, with your students always at the centre of your decision making. Thank you to the support you rallied around Ms Singleton and then Mr Boat in his transition into the role as your new principal. Congratulations to both of them for leading through extraordinary times and to Mr Collins and Ms Cost for the strength they brought and continue to bring to the team. To our families, congratulations for your support of Garkin High School through many avenues, including working closely with your children's teachers through the learning from home period and for understanding the value and important roles that their teachers play in their lives. Most importantly to the students of Gorakin High School, the reason all of the adults head to work every day and why they choose their path into education was to have a positive impact on you and to make a difference for you. Congratulations to Aki and Joel and your team for leading your students through 2020. This year has not been an easy one for students, but the resilience and many soft skills that you have developed from it will take you very far in life. If anything, this year has taught us that there are some things we can't control in life, but that we can always control how we respond to them. All the very best to Taniqua and Harry and the 2021 year school leaders for next year. Congratulations on a phenomenal year, everyone, and all the very best for a well-earned break to spend quality time with those that are important to you. Have a safe and restful break, and I'm looking forward to working closely with you in 2021. Hi, my name's Inspector Matt Leclerc and I'm the Wyong Unit Commander of the New South Wales State Emergency Service. I would like to congratulate all the award recipients for 2020. It's been an incredibly tough year and the resilience you have shown through the fires, floods, storms and the COVID-19 pandemic is to be commended. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the recipients of the Long Tan Awards. These awards have been a long-standing tradition at Gorican High School and reflect the capacity your student body has towards leadership, teamwork and innovation. Congratulations to Toby Dowdle, Cameron Smider, Archie Twyford and Stephanie Sue.
for demonstrating the qualities and attributes that reflect the heart of these awards. The Rotary Club of North Lakes Tugley would like to congratulate Jarley Douglas for your contribution to the school community. You were selected because your efforts align with the Rotary ethos of service above self. So congratulations. And congratulations to all other recipients here today. You make Gorikin High School very proud. Hello everyone, Mr Zammett here, proud principal of Gorikin Public School. Congratulations to all the award recipients who are acknowledged at this presentation day ceremony. We're so lucky to have so many talented and hardworking students within our community. You've done well to excel in these unprecedented times and are a real inspiration to everyone around you. And for this, I congratulate you and hope that you enjoy your moment of recognition. Keep striving to be the best that you can be. Well done. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to congratulate all award recipients. You should be very proud of your achievements. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Congratulations to all the award recipients for a great year. Well, well done. done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, uh, all award recipients, especially Year 9. I'm very proud of you. But more importantly, Year 10. Congratulations. You're the best. But most importantly, Year 9, you did better. That's not true. We'll just call it Stage 5. Well done. Yeah. And stage 4, you go okay. Stage 6, good job. Stage five is where it's at. Congratulations, you tech, good work, and you know. I would like to thank all of our supporters for today. Nadine and Carl Kane from Keys Plus Lakehaven, Coles Lakehaven, Mr. Jesmond Zamet from Gorican Public School, Miss Jackie Buchanan from Tukley Public School, Miss Jan Pryor, Rotary Club of Tukley, Unit Commander of Wyong SES, Mr. Matthew Leclerc, the ADF Long Tan Award, Megan Avery, our Director of Educational Leadership, Caltex, Charm Haven Garden Centre. Thank you and goodbye.